Cindy McGrath, Joe Hackett. Joe? Cindy. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. What do I feel like a third wheel? <laughs> Brian tells me that you're a pilot, too. That's so exciting. Brian's told me all about... your name. <laughs> so, what do you do? Oh, I work down at the Bar Ride Drugstore. Yeah, I'm the head of the cosmetics department. That <laughs> uh, sounds fascinating. Oh, it is. I mean, the right colors can just make such a difference. Well, take your face. Great bone structure, but... I could do wonders with a little bronzer. You know, sort of a Julio Iglesias kind of a thing? Th thank you. Um, do you have a little girl's room? I have this really awful feeling that my eyeshadow's wrong. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure, it's, uh, it's right up the stairs there. So, uh, Joe, what do you think? Ow, ow, ear, pain, hurts, hurts, hate that. What did you get me into? Oh, come on, Joe. It's not that big of a deal. It's not just kind of cute. I specifically asked him not to do this. Look, it's one day out of your life. Now go. Well, you're right. She's not so bad. And I have a minute to get out. It's not exactly my type, but what the heck. Hagen, from what I've heard about Cindy McGrath, she's pretty much everybody's type. <laughs> Cindy McGrath that lives out on Madigan Road? That's the one. One what? Joe, let me see if I can find the words to explain it. Nope. Look, Hackett. Cindy's got a certain reputation. A lot of guys tend to drop by her place on weekends. Are you telling me she's a pro? Shh, Hackett. Relax. She's no professional, but she's unquestionably the island's ranking amateur. What is she doing here? I heard she's dating Joe. <laughs> I'm not dating her, and I have no plans to. You knew about this, yes, didn't yes, you? Yes, 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 I did know about it, but she's trying to change. Gail asked me to try to find Cindy someone who was nice, dependable, a real gentleman. Excuse me, Joe, but I thought of you. I'm back, Joe. Now. Isn't this better? My eyeshadow was completely wrong in me, a professional. Whoops, I stand corrected. <laughs> uh, Cindy, Brian shouldn't have... I, I, I just don't think we'll be... You know all about me, right? Well, some of the guys... Yeah, it's are... okay. I'm used to it. Look, I'm really sorry. Yeah, me too. Well, thanks for not coming up with some stupid excuse. Believe me, I've heard some doozies. Well, I guess it's just not in the cards for me to go out with a nice guy. Cindy, wait. I don't see why we couldn't go out to dinner sometime. You don't have to do no, this. No, no, really. I want to. Uh, Saturday night, okay? About 8 o'clock? I'd like that. Thanks. Uh, so you'll call me? Sure. Great. Here you go, uh, hack it. You're gonna need this. What is it? It's in his telephone number. <laughs> I found it carved on that post over there. Hi, guys. I'm sorry, Joe. You want to go someplace else? Is there any place else we could go? New Hampshire. This'll do. Uh, Cindy, meet Helen Chapel. Hi. Oh, hi. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah, I remember you from the other day. Uh -huh. Hair, honey blonde, blush, dusty rose, and lip gloss. Tahitian sunrise, right? That, that's right. How did you do It's my business. Uh -huh. <laughs> do you like this nail color? Oh. Uh, yes, that's nice. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about it. Thanks. I tried about 14 different shades before I got it right. I'm pretty happy with it. So are we. <laughs> Hey, Cindy. Hi. Remember me? Uh, gee, I don't... Sure you I... do. Jimmy. Oh. Remember? 
You know, I was going to call you, but I lost your number. How about giving it to me again? Uh, hey, what the... What, no, just, just take a minute. I'm sorry, Joe. I was afraid something like this would happen. Look, uh, Jimmy, we were just about to order here. A so minute. Should... Okay? Please, not now. Uh... I'm going to call you this time. I promise. Come on, you remember all the fun we had out on Steve Wilson's boat? It was you, Steve, that big brunette. Jimmy, I'm busy right now. Yeah, but now. what was her name? Oh, hey, maybe she doesn't remember, okay? Are you her? No. <laughs> so you don't know what she does or doesn't remember, am I right? Anybody know what's in the Neptune's bounty? Uh, Jimmy, why don't we talk some other time? Great. How about later tonight? Oh, hey, buddy, Whoa, look. whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not your buddy. I'm just trying to have a couple of laughs with the lady here. Well, Cindy is with my brother Joe now. She doesn't laugh anymore. Uh, Brian, maybe you should... Yeah, Brian, maybe you should. Okay, well, Jimmy, Jimmy, uh, we were just trying to have a simple little dinner here. Oh, really? I really wish you wouldn't do that. Joe does not care for sarcasm. Hey, Joe. If you've got a problem, just speak up. Oh, now you've done it. He hates that. What? I'm sorry, Joe. I didn't mean to cut Cindy, any Cindy, trouble. Cindy, it's not about you. This is between Jimmy and Joe. <laughs> you know, Joe, I'm getting a little bit tired of your attitude. I hardly said a word. Well, you better start talking, because this is not going well. Okay, don't worry. I know how to handle this. No, 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 no. no. Oh, look, Jimmy, no. we've heard just about enough... <laughs> Take care of him. You need help? No, I think you've done just about enough. Boy, trouble just seems to find that guy. You know, until today, I never really noticed the family resemblance. <laughs> God, this is so embarrassing. Oh, would you just forget it? The place was full of tourists. Nobody you know will ever hear about it. <laughs> well, well. If it isn't the Sphinx Brothers. <laughs> I better watch it. Words out around town. You boys throw a mean nose. Fast Piper Air Flight 26 to Boston is now boarding. Cindy, what are you doing here? You, Joe. <laughs> Excuse me? Let's not kid ourselves. We got in over our heads. And last night made me realize that with my reputation, I'll never make it here. Well, you know what I mean. Cindy, I... Please. I know that it would kill you every time some guy looked at me the way guys look at me. So I've decided to move to Boston and get a fresh start. Be strong. Eventually you'll get over it. Well, it won't be easy, but I'll try. Hmm. That's my joke. Well, goodbye. And thanks again. You're the first guy who ever treated me like a lady. Don't do this, Joe. Just let me walk out of your life. I want to remember you the way you are right now. Well, maybe without the bandage. Okay? Okay. Joe, your life is here. And besides, long-distance relationships never work. Cindy, I... Oh. Joe, Joe, you're ripping my heart out. Don't do this. Don't follow me like this. Cindy, I have to. I'm the pilot of your flight. Oh. <laughs> Not exactly the end of Casablanca, was it? <laughs> A movie with serious hair. Come here. Escape to Movie Land with Working Girl. Sure, Bernie. Tonight at 10, only on TV Land.